All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we're gonna do a food re uh, no, a food experience. Okay. Yeah. I kind of hate doing food reviews. I um, I don't know. I think I'm geared more towards a uh, food experience, you guys. So today we're gonna go down and check out Sepp's Pizza. Apparently, uh, Sepp's Pizza has like twelve thousand followers on Instagram, so it's pretty big. Uh, they're known for. I guess New York style pizza so they're, they're like thin crust not much meat and stuff on it but uh, I had a couple of recommendations from a couple of friends and uh, a couple of food vloggers I guess right hon? I think so. So Kareem's gonna join me and uh, we're gonna head downtown or down to the university where it's located at and uh, let's check this place out you guys. It's a little uh, a little shack looks, looks like a little shack or whatever but it's on a one way so it's kind of hard to get around to get to it so but let's go in and let's go uh, grab this pizza <laughs> smells pretty good in here you guys hello i'm just here to pick up for kareem for kareem yeah. just a moment please. all right thank you pretty friendly place eh, you guys Just like New York, there's like a little hole in the wall, you guys. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Wonder what the red light's for. Can I grab the pizza right now? Good. Two pizzas for Corinne. Yep. All right, thank you. Good. Enjoy the pizza. What's with the red light? What's the red light for? Oh, um, I have no idea. No, I have no idea. <laughs> Okay. Corini, right? Yeah, Corini. Good. Okay. Enjoy the pizzas. Thank you. All right. You. Thank you. What did we order here at Korean? This is uh, the Canadian. This is the eight, oh. 18 inches, you guys. It's like it's, the it's massive. Let's yeah. let's sh wait, give me the plate for a second, huh? So this is just a regular size plate, guys. Uh, this is five, a standard. I would say ten in, ten inches. Like look how that's just that's massive, you guys. So we're gonna eat it. Again. Yeah, one is the Beaver's Choice Meat Lovers, and the other one is the Canadian Septuagint. So this one is a uh, Canadian Seps Way. So it has pineapples and uh, prosciutto. prosciutto. And the only thing we opt out on was the um, hot peppers. The hot peppers. Uh, my little one over here can't handle hot peppers. And, the, the and my older one here too. I look so gross, Dad. <laughs> I did not want to be And then this one over here. Which one is this one, Kareem? Uh, dealer's Choice. Meat lovers. All right, so Janelle can't wait her anymore, so she's pretty hungry, so we'll let her uh, dig in here, eh? Well, I think we all are. Hey, Munchkin? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is massive. Is it massive? Look at her face. Like, this is one, wow. one, one it's like plate. It's bigger than your face. Whoa, almost lost it there. Okay, you try it. You let Daddy know how it goes, and let Dad's audience know if it's good or not. I'm good. Why would you not just eat one slice at a time? Why are you like biting one into one? It has like one? a spice to it. Yeah, that one has a spice to the meat, right? You like the pineapple? I think it's like good. sweet. It'd probably like be really good. It'd probably be even crispier if it's like fresh out of the oven, eh, Lexia? Double fisting. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? Who eats one bite from one pizza and then another slice? Yeah, I'll just go. Dad looked on the Instagrams and the reviews and stuff. They said mm -hmm. it's supposedly the same as New York style pizza but is it is it that I don't know eh? let me I'm gonna try a bite of the Canadians yes. they're definitely thin crust shape wise it's like New York 
Stuffing up pizza sandwich really hard. Well, what other shape is that pizza gonna be? Is it square or? No, no, no. I mean, like, I mean, like thinness wise, yeah. It's not like thick. The thin crust. Yeah. That's why I don't like doing food review, guys. I don't. I'm just not a food review guy, so. Because it's not fresh when you come home, but when you eat it when you come home. So how do you? Are you? What's the proper way of eating a pizza? Is it do you fold it like this when the pizza is this big, or is it do you eat it like you can when it's flat sitting. like that? I guess. I guess it depends on the pizza if the pizza is floppy or not, eh? Because this one you can actually eat like just straight because it's not floppy. Mine's not floppy. Yeah, are you right, right now? Mhm. Mm but it, see when it when but when it's floppy, you fold it like this and then you eat it. The camera's not even facing you. It's facing me the whole mm -hmm. time. You know, he's recording, you ruined my shot. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Realistically, you guys, I'm not a big crust guy. Like, I'm one of those guys that eat the rest of the pizza and then they just toss the crust to the side. Green's the, other, the opposite. She'll eat everything, like the whole crust and all. She kind of frowns upon me, like, when I. I, I don't eat the crust. It's the new crust. So, I don't eat the crust. You know, I, I won't give you guys my, my experience with the crust because I don't know if it's good or not because I didn't eat it. Well, then you should. No. Eat the crust and try it. So I'm going to try out this, uh, which one is this one? Eat the crust. Sorry. Take the crust. <laughs> try it. Meat lovers. Meat lovers. Try the crust. So How love. do you review it? Like, like hey? what your take? Not you bad. Look at that, you guys. A little floppy, but... So, Alexi, you like the meat lovers better, right? Yeah. I didn't think I was going to like it more, but I do. The, can the Canadian supper is pretty good. I wish we added the supper. Right? So this one you're gonna. <laughs> so when eating this one, you're gonna have to uh, fold it. See, when you fold it, it works. Not bad. Like seriously? You're always making fun of me. Look at my face in the back. Look here. You first cup I did this. You have to watch it. It's not bad, you guys, but. For the amount of money you spend, what is it? We spent upwards of what? Oh, thirty some dollars a pizza. So thirty some dollars a pizza, you guys. It it is big, but it's thin crust, mm -hmm. New York style. There's, the thing is, if you have, if you've never eaten a New York style pizza, the way how we eat it here, or you order like a Chicago style pizza, are loaded. It's loaded. We we load our meats and our toppings and stuff in Canada, but. When I went my one trip to, uh, first time ever into New York. No wonder that guy kind of gave us kind of a weird look because man, we ordered like, we, we topped out the whole thing and it was it came out so thick. And apparently New Yorkers like their style of pizza really thinly uh, topped out, right? It's, n it's not very heavy on the toppings and- uh, We crushed it. Yeah, it's very similar to it, but I think New York is still much better. I I, I like the New York. This one's crispy here, I find. It's thin crust too. Yeah, but for thirty some dollars a pizza, you guys, it's a little on the hefty side. So Sep's pizza is like just a takeout only. Mm -hmm. If you notice in the vlog, in the beginning of the vlog, is like there's like almost like a hole in the wall, you guys. It's a little shack. It's a little hard to find because it's a to go find it, you have to go down a couple of one ways down by the university just kind of complicated but anyways so it only offers it in 14 and 18 so we got the 18 and it's it's pretty big you guys uh, as you can tell we didn't finish it all so I would I would recommend just getting a 14 inch just so that you're just trying it out to see if which ones you like and then your favorite and go from there hope you uh, enjoyed my uh, food experience at Seps Pizza um, they're big on Instagram go ahead and follow them you guys so I'll put the link below they have like I think like I mentioned before, 12,000 followers. Thin crust pizza. The key to it is you got to eat it fresh right. So I think Sep's pizza, you should eat it right when you get it. I know it's kind of hard. I don't know if they offer it by the, by the slice. But if you can, that would be pretty awesome because you eat it right, right on the spot. But uh, taking it home, the, the texture of the crust becomes kind of a little, a little on the chewy side. So I would recommend if you can, eat it right there on the spot or share with a couple of friends in the car. I think that'd be a pretty cool experience, but uh, that'll probably be the best way to experience Steps Pizza at its best. But other than that, it's, it is just another rendition of New York style uh, pizza. 
is it as good as New York? Probably not. I don't think so. Not to my own experience. I think it's New York. It's just New York, right? Just maybe I'm just wowed by the the whole entire experience itself, and the pizza was just great because I was just in New York. But all in all, Seth's Pizza is pretty good. Is it worth the thirty dollars for eighteen inches? Maybe not, you guys. I don't know. It's a little steep. But like I said before, try with the fourteen inch first. Get your feet wet. See which one you guys really like, and then go from there. But other than that, go out there and experience it for yourself, you guys. I am trying to thinking of doing a giveaway where every time I do a food experience for myself, and I'm gonna give to one of you guys so that you can experience it yourself and tell me how it is, you guys. Hit the subscribe button, you guys. Share, turn on the notification, and uh, hit me up on my Instagram, and uh, you know at never enough because you just cannot. <laughs> Because you can just have never enough in life, you guys. So, thanks again for subscribing and watching this week's vlog, you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya! I got the strawberry for Lex. Oh, no, it touched it. Strawberry. Look at me. Look at I didn't want eclairs in there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Some people just don't listen and that's a Dra crappy one. Drama queen here. <laughs>